Hey, welcome back to the next lesson of our tutorial series on how to create Among Us in Unity. For this lesson, we're going to be working on the report mechanic. This will make it so that whenever there's a dead body within our line of sight, we can press a button and that body will then be reported. Now, in order to make it so that we can report a dead body, we want to make some changes to both our body script and our player controller script. And we'll start with our player controller script. The first thing that we want to do inside this script is add a few new variables to the top. The first variable is a public static variable, and this is going to be a list of transforms, and I've called it all bodies. I then have another list of transforms. This one's called bodies found, and we need a list just in case there's more than one body in our line of sight. The next variable is a serialized field of type input action, and I've called it report. This is so that we can receive input from our player when they want to report a body. And the last variable is another serialized field of type layer mask, and it's called ignore for body. This will be for a raycast that's used to detect any bodies nearby. Once you have these variables created, the next thing that we need to do is register a function to our report input action. And so in our awake function, I have report.performed plus equals and then report body. We then need to enable and disable our report input action, and this will be done in the onenable and onDisable function. And so I have report.enable, and I have report.disable. Then inside our start function, we need to initialize our two lists. And so I have all bodies equals new list of type transform, and I have bodies found equals new list of type transform. The next change that I've made is within our update function where I've added an if statement, checking to see if our all bodies list.count is greater than zero. If this is true, then it means there's at least one body in our scene. Inside this if statement, I'm calling a new function called body search. This function will be used to detect whether or not there's a body within our line of sight. And so let's go ahead and create this function. Down at the bottom, I have this function and it's a return type void. And inside this function, I have a for each loop where we're looking at each transform called body in our all bodies list. Inside this for each loop, we're gonna create a raycast for each body. And so I have a new local variable of type raycast hit called hit and another of type ray called ray. And we're setting this ray variable equal to new ray. The first parameter is our current transform.position and the second parameter is the current body.position minus transform.position, which will give us the direction from our player to the body. I'm then debugging this array just in case we want to see it within the scene. But the next thing that we're doing is actually casting the ray. And so I have if physics.raycast, we're passing in our ray for the first parameter. We're then outing the hit for our second parameter. We then have the distance we want our ray to travel and I'm passing in the inverse of our ignore for body layer mask. Now this if statement will return true if our raycast hits an object. And so all we have to do is check to see what that object is. So I have an if statement where we're checking to see if hit.transform is equal to our current body. I then have a couple debug statements which we don't need to have. But then I have an if statement where I'm double checking to see if our bodies found list contains the current body.transform. If it does, then we just want to return because we've already detected this body. But if it doesn't contain this body, then we want to add it. So we have bodies found dot add, and I'm passing in body dot transform. I then have an else statement for if the current body is not within our line of sight, in which case we want to remove it from our bodies found list. And so I have bodies found dot remove, and I'm passing in body dot transform. And that's everything that we need for our body search function. And the next thing that we'll do is create our report body function, which is the function that we're registering to our report input action. This is a private for void function with the parameter of input action dot callback context called object. Inside this function we want to make sure that our bodies found list is initialized and so I have if bodies found equals null then we want to return. We then want to make sure that there's at least one body within our list and so I have if bodies found dot count equals zero then we want to return. If our bodies found list has at least one object within it then our function will continue past this point and here I'm creating a new local variable of type transform called temp body and we're setting it equal to the last entity in our bodies found list so I have bodies found square brackets bodies found dot count minus one we can then remove this current body from both our lists and so I have all bodies dot remove and I'm passing in temp body and bodies found dot remove 
passing in temp body. And finally, we want to call a function that we'll create within our body script called report. So I have temp body dot get component and we're looking for our body script. I then have dot report. And so that's everything that we should need for this script. So go ahead and save this script and we'll go over to our body script. Inside this script, we want to create the unenable function. And inside this function, we want to add this current body to our all bodies list. And so we first want to make sure that our list is initialized. And so I have if au player controller dot all bodies does not equal null, we can then call au player controller dot all bodies dot add and pass in this transform. We'll then go ahead and create the report function. This is a public void function. And inside this function, I have debug.log and I'm passing in the string reported. This will just be so that we can see that it's working within our console. And then we can destroy this current game object. And so I have destroy and I'm passing in game object. Once you have all this, we can then go ahead and save this script and go back to Unity. Inside Unity, we want to select our player prefab and we want to add a key binding to our report input action. So you can click the plus sign. We'll then double click on it and I've set the path to R on my keyboard. And then we want to set the ignore for body layer mask, which I've set to ghost. There might be a couple other layers that we'll add to this layer mask in the future. And once you have all of this, we can test out our project. All right, so here I have my player. I can walk around and when I go up to the other player and press the space bar, we end up killing the player. And so now there's another body in my scene. And if I press R, you can see that the body is removed and in our console we have the debug statement of reported. Now once we add multiplayer to our game we'll do more with the report mechanic. We'll probably send out an event to all the players which will reposition all the players around the center table. Well, that's everything that we're going to cover in this lesson on how to create the report mechanic for our Among Us game. If you enjoyed this video make sure that you give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel so you can be notified when we publish more videos.